And hello to you from a city that's never short of style. I'm talking, of course, about the French capital, Paris. We're at the Parc des Princes. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the technical and tactical analysis, is Stuart Robson. And it is the season of giving. We come bearing the gift of football for you. It's Paris Saint-Germain, and they take on Strasbourg. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. And here's how the lineup looks for PSG. Gianluigi Donnarumma begins in goal. Marquinhos plays with Sergio Ramos at the back. Vitor Ferreira starts alongside Marco Verratti in the engine room. And leading the line, Lionel Messi plays alongside Kylian Mbappe. And here's how Strasbourg will line up. Well, in this shape, unless their wing-backs play further forward, there won't be any width in their attacks, which then puts a lot of pressure on the strikers to provide the goal threat. And they kick off here. Well, it was a foul, but good use of advantage by the referee. Jean Rickner Bellegarde. Sanjin Percic on the offensive. Well, didn't go as a plan in the end. Mbappe. Mbappe. Throw-ins given. Well, keeping it on the ground. Slightly off target, however. Niemcy. Really good high press. Oh, did so well to deny him. It's Neymar's corner, and still a chance. Neymar. Well, so Oh, wait, Stuart, they might score. Well, that is going to go down as an own goal by the keeper. Well, as the replay shows us, that will be classed as an own goal. He's a bit unlucky there. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1 0. Well, harried into losing the ball, really effective pressing. Verratti. Mbappe. Neymar. Now, this could be productive. Well, danger averted thanks to his teammate. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break.
not to be advised giving the ball away in that position well very effective play in possession Ramos now with Hakimi Neymar now with Messi and in with a real chance and a goal it is the keeper really not part of the equation Well, just look at the defending here. They've made it so easy for him in the end. That's just not good enough. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Habib Diallo. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Might be able to get in behind the defence. It's always likely to be the goalkeeper's ball. Lionel Messi here's Mbappe PSG looking dangerous unable to get himself back onside here well he was always going to be offside that was the wrong option No foul, PSG advantage. Well, there you have it. The hosts have had so much of the possession and as a result have dominated the game. Some of their passing movements have been a joy to watch and I don't think anything's going to change that. Good refereeing, waiting for a natural break before administering the caution. Played over. And that's easy peasy for the keeper. Well, he's lost the ball. Chance to play it in. And he drills it in. And the keeper more than equal to it. The delivery from Neymar. Well, still an issue here. And the referee takes exception to the challenge. Free kick. Moving forward effectively. And Neymar. And here's Fabian. Hakimi. Now Neymar. Can he take the chance? And Messi with the goal. It's always strange when he doesn't get on target.
Well, the ball is rolling once more. PSG dominant, and it's starting to get out of hand, you just feel. Thomason. Here's Gamero. So two minutes of stoppage time to be added on. He'll take this on. Well, after that attempt, gobbled up by the keeper. Messi. So the referee blows for half-time, and it's PSG in front at the break. Well, we said before the game what a brilliant side they are going forward, and they've proved that in the first half. Their combination play all over the pitch has been really good. It's been a top display so far. Well, the ball is rolling again, and no getting away from it. PSG very much bossing it in the first 45. Effective challenge. Foul there, free kick awarded. Well, he was flirting with trouble, but the referee has decided not to hand out a yellow card. And they're making a change. Well, thumped clear. Can he convert? Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper. Over it comes. And he's headed it in! Well, here it is again. It's a good delivery from the corner, and it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. So there it is, 3-1, the current scoreline here. PSG looking dangerous. Neymar. And out of play for a Paris Saint-Germain throw-in. Verratti. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Habib Diallo. Neymar. Mbappe. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Habib Diallo. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Well, it looked highly promising, but it came to nothing in the end. So, a half an hour remaining. Dagba. Dagba? Well, he stopped them in their tracks. Verratti. Mbappe, on to Messi. Working away patiently, looking for an opening. Retaining possession proving difficult. And out of play, the pass nearly worked out, but not quite. Substitution it is for PSG. 
son remplaçant, le numéro 3, Trainer Tupembe. Well, that's a really good authoritative tackle. Throw in here. Perzic. Here's Ajork. Well, that's how to beat your opponent. Plenty of support here. No degree of difficulty at all for the keeper. Bad challenge, and now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next. And following the infringement, a caution. Yeah, no surprise there. That was always going to be a booking. PSG are going to switch things around on the personnel front. Very comfortable when in possession. Renato Sanchez. Very quick thinking there. Habib Diallo. Messi. Mbappe. Can he put it in? And the keeper got there. Time for a change then. And the short option preferred. Lionel Messi! Well, clearly in the mood to make it a double, but fine goalkeeping. Well, he's playing really well today. That was another decent attempt. They favoured a short one here. Firing is in. Superb block. Neymar! It could have been awkward for the goalkeeper. Now, how about the short corner? And the cross from Mbappe. And a goal to settle the issue once and for all. Let's take another look, because it's a well-worked short corner that just changes the angle of the cross. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Five minutes to go. Fabian. And he's beaten him here. But no damage done. That's the main thing. Habib Diallo. And with that, the attack fizzles out. The electronic board has been held in the air and we're going to have a minimum of four added minutes. Mbappe. He read the situation defensively and did his job.
Sizoko. Oh, lovely ball. Oh, good work to deny the opportunity. And that will do it for this game anyway. And it goes into the history books as a victory for Paris Saint-Germain. What did you think of their performance? Well, as I keep saying, if you make forward runs and you look to pass the ball forward and have players who can dribble past defenders, you're always going to carry a threat. And that's what they're doing at the moment. Their forward play was scintillating.